Hi guys, it's Sadie from slapdashmom.com and I'm going to show you how to make a picture like this one right here for my Cinspiration um, post. It's really simple and it's free so first of all you need to go to paint and save a blank canvas and then close paint and go to picmonkey.com it's p-i-c-m-o-n-k-e-y dot com and then you're going to go right here and upload the blank photo and you're going to resize it so you click on resize uncheck the key proportions because you're just going to make up your own size I do a lot of 300 by 300 so that's what we're going to use right now. Isis, go play. Now you want to go to this button right here. They're called overlays. And then add your own. Um, and this for this photo, I used the cinch shake. And you don't want to make it too big if your photo was small to begin with or it will be grainy. But add it like that. And then you need to add text. Okay, and then you're going to resize your text and change the color. Click right here. Sorry, my dog is crazy. Okay, so click. <laughs> Stop. So click right here, and this is going to be your color picker. And you want it to match, so you're going to go, you know, right here. And then you want to make it fit. You move this around. Now, if you notice, there's a background right here. Um, that may, well let me add a frame real quick and show you. You go right here to the frame, go to simple edge, and then again choose your colors. Uh, you use your color picker or just pick a random color. You can adjust the thickness, the inside and the out. And now if you look here, you see this white right here, it's going over the frame. You don't want that. so. Go to blend modes and click darken. And there you go, it's gone. So, next we're going to go back to the text and add our inspiration to the bottom. And again, color picker, you can use this. Or, um, I wanted to go with the actual orange that Cinch uses, so I go back and I add an overlay of their logo. I make it big so I can choose the color. And then I go back and edit my text, and then I just delete that. So that's how you get the matching colors. You can change the font. Um, I'm partial to this one, but there's tons of fonts here, and it's all completely free. Um, it's really easy. You just go to save, just like you would any other, and you have the photo, just like this. So if you have any questions, you can ask, email me, whatever, and I will try to help. Uh, I hope the video kind of explained it for you. If you have any questions, let me know, and good luck on your Cinspiration journey.